Thank you, Muriel. Mm -hmm. Judge Muriel Robinson is here, so the phone lines are open and time to answer your legal questions. As always, we love it when you're with us. Thank you. We are going to start with Karen. Karen, thank you very much for watching, and go ahead with your question, please. My question is, you're late paying a bill. You pay the collection agency. You have proof, but it still shows on your credit card. I mean, your credit uh, uh, your account. Credit what report, do you yeah. do? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you're trying to get that off, and of course, if, if you've had a good credit uh, rating before and where you never had any late payments, then you could probably call uh, their management to, to talk about that to see, ask them, what's the procedure for me to get this off? But usually that stays on. It usually is not too effective unless you have a history of that, but mm -hmm. it's hard to get one thing off. But if you call them and tell them that this is the first time it's happened, and it, tell you the steps to alleviate this okay. and so uh, that's what I would do because all those companies have uh, uh, managers that you can talk to other than the person that you're talking to on the phone go mm -hmm. online and see wh who their officials are and then you could write that of course you could always have your lawyer write them that would get their attention yeah. and hang on to those documents <laughs> for yes. sure mm -hmm. right now we've got Angela with us Angela thank you for watching and go ahead with your question please Yes, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do about uh, a child not seeing her father for like eight months. Well, is it because the father is not visiting or is it because someone's withholding the visitation? It's because the father is not visiting. Well, that's sad because uh, the child's missing out on a relationship with the father. I don't know what's wrong with the father. Now, what you can do is to go uh, to the child support uh, receiving unit that, that if you have a child support case and ask them to increase the child support because he's failing to visit because it's based on days if a parent doesn't visit then he pays more child support or she pays more child support so wow. that will get his attention usually yeah. it it gets the visitations to start right up quickly uh -huh. because they don't want to pay more money and so they'll take the visitation wow. but uh, shame that that has to happen but money talks but that it's a good but, rule to know yeah, for everybody but that's else. right yeah. but then you know if he's still not going to visit you're going to have more child support all right mm -hmm. right now we have got Chrissy with us Chrissy thank you for watching and go ahead please good morning Chrissy yes you are on the air live go ahead um, I have a question. Um, my children's father has not been in their lives for over five years now, no contact whatsoever, and I'd like to know when I could take away his parental rights and when can their stepfather that I've been married to for three years legally mm -hmm. adopt them. Oh, well, you could start that process right now because if uh, they haven't paid child support or shown any interest in the child within four months, that child is technically under the statute declared an abandoned child. Uh, so if he's been out of the picture for five years with no birthday cards, no gifts, no visits or whatever, he's set up on a course to forego his parental rights. So what you need to do is just file the adoption petition with you and the stepfather as the petitioners okay. against him. Mm -hmm. If you can't find him, you'd have to publish it. If you know where he is, then of course, you know, he has a right to come in and say why his parental rights shouldn't be terminated. But with no support for five years and no mm -hmm. uh, contact, as you say, uh, this would be a real easy case to get through. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, I, one other quick question here. Mm -hmm. uh, can't get another, any more calls in, but okay. quickly uh, on identity theft, statute of limitations on that. Uh, on identity theft, usually when you're when you're calling up and you're letting everybody, all your creditors know, there there's there's a it wouldn't be over a year, I don't think, but it should be instantaneously mm -hmm. that that uh, that that should be uh, uh, taken away from the from the credit thing okay. because Already. if you have proof that it wasn't you, they're, they're, they're not gonna, you're going to get it settled and it, it's mm -hmm. going to go away. Okay, mm -hmm. it was a call I believe related to yeah. that, but we couldn't get that call yeah. in. But okay. thank you very much for all being right. with us today. Mm -hmm. Back with more talk of the town right after this.